Yes! The wait is finally over! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. In my previous video, I mentioned that I had a feeling that I might get my quarter bag finally and it happened. This will be part two of my birthday haul. Even though by the time this video goes up, it might be August already, but it doesn't matter. I'll talk about why I decided to go with this bag because yeah, there's a bit of a controversy whether this bag is worth it. We'll also talk about the pre-spend because that's definitely different across the world. But before that, I wanted to thank Ideal for sending me also a beautiful, gorgeous birthday gift. So it came in this gorgeous pouch. I love these pouches for traveling. They are a wonderful, wonderful company that specializes in lab-grown diamonds and their diamonds are just so beautiful and so high quality. Oh my gosh, so, so gorgeous. They literally blew my mind when I saw them the first time. Obviously, I'm re-unboxing it for you guys. So these pieces are part of their high jewelry. The earrings are called Le Poème, which translates to the poem. And the necklace is called L'Eternité, which means eternity. This time I went with yellow gold because I've always gone with white gold and I just thought it was time to switch it up because their yellow gold is absolutely stunning. They specialize in lab-grown diamonds, fine jewelry that is sustainable. Their designs are absolutely fantastic. They're also modular, which means that with these earrings, for example, you can wear them dangly like I am right now, or you can just wear the studs alone. These dangly earrings can also be switched onto one of the necklaces and be worn as a lariat necklace. But yeah, even their necklaces are modular by design, meaning that you can just buy one chain and grow your collection of pendants over time. Their chains are also adjustable with three different settings. So right now I have it on the longest setting. Their pricing is also super reasonable. If you compare the same size of diamond or the similar design with fashion houses like Tiffany and whatnot, um, you're gonna pay a lot more. So if you ask me what I would absolutely start with, even if you were just to buy the studs without the whole add-on and just build that over time, I'm sure you won't be disappointed. They offer free express shipping and returns, so you should be able to feel very confident with your purchase. Probably this set is by far my new favorite. <laughs> These, uh, I mean, just the, the necklace, oh, the necklace is so sparkly and the earrings are just, oh. They're so stunning. I'll make sure to link these pieces below and also their website so you can check it out. And of course, you can also use my coupon code fashionablyamy10 to save 10% at checkout. Back to the unboxing. And oh, I can't believe it took so long to get this back. So here's the little booklet. And... Oh my gosh, it's so tight. <laughs> to reveal... A Constance! Okay, let's take all the felt material. I love that it comes with protective felt material wraps around the entire bag. There's even a front piece like that, so... Yeah. There you go, guys. This is my newest addition which is the Constance 18, also known as the Constance Mini, in gold Epsom and also gold hardware, contrast stitching. And this is the new version, which comes with a mirror. The interior is a smooth, sort of like swift leather with two main compartments, slip pockets in the back, as well as in the front. And the new version, like I mentioned, comes also with this um, mirror piece. Kind of neat because it has this leather piece. Stamping of the branding there. Really love this Constance kind of closure. It's so satisfying to open and close. As you all know, I also own the Constance Slim and the Constance To Go, and especially the Constance To Go because I've used that one more. It's so scratch, especially right around the like 
the four corners of the H bar and I just feel like I want to baby this one a little bit more because <laughs> I don't know it's a quarter bag I do plan on using this on my uh, vacation this year and then when the sticker starts lifting then I'll remove it that way I still have like a brand new looking bag when I come back home I feel like that's what I'll end up doing with this one we can remove the ones here like the sticker on here we don't need it there it's probably not gonna get that scratched over there anyway so let's do that together so one little sticker down and that's the difference between sticker and no sticker. It's a huge difference, guys. It's really so much nicer when you do remove the stickers, which, you know, the stickers is really intended to be um, temporary anyway. The construction is just out of this world. It's a different type of... Um, I guess structure you can call it than the Birkins and the Kellys just every rounded edge is so perfectly stitched especially with contrast stitching sometimes it is kind of easy to see if a stitching is a little bit off but it's so well done that I, I honestly could not find a flaw in this bag it's so absolutely stunning and I love that you can just easily double it up as kind of more of a shoulder bag and kind of like an evening bag which is so versatile easily you can just make it into a long cross body and it's just ugh, i can't wait to use this bag i'm really really excited that's also why i chose my new jewelry in yellow gold i just felt like it was time to try a different um material and i just ugh. Here's my outfit today, which um, you guys might recognize these gorgeous paper bag shorts that I got from Hermes. bought these in January and I wore the heck out of them finally. It's so very chic, this bag. And I, I, I'm just in love with this outfit too. Like these shorts are so amazing. I really recommend that you guys get these shorts if they ever make them again i love the the belt the whole the whole vibe they're so comfortable as well but they do wrinkle quite a bit right here love this feature from this bag and that's the reason why i always felt like the della was a little bit too manly because the straps are very thick and you could only do crossbody wear whereas the constance is a lot more dainty and i like that the straps are thinner I also um, really like the H hardware. I actually really like the H hardware. I don't find it obnoxious at all. I think it's so chic. I feel like it would be a great travel companion. Just kind of have um, two bags in one for all the, the, you know, the events and occasions that you might have during your travel. Oh. Oh, it's so great. I love, love, love. So here's the story time portion. If you've been with me on my Hermes journey, you know that I already have my Birkin and my Kelly. So the next kind of reasonable quota bag wish that I would want to add is the Constance, which I tried to get while I was in Hawaii. I was really trying to avoid getting it in my home store. And the main reason is because the Constance while it is not always considered a quota bag depending on your country or your store it's kind of funny because i did a poll recently and i asked you guys whether your store or where you're located they consider this bag as a quota bag quota bag means that you have to do a pre-spend say one to one say you have to spend the equivalent of the price of this bag in other merchandise before you can get offered this bag um, that's what it means pre-spend to my surprise many of you said that yes it is still considered a quota bag even from where you are and some of you are actually from europe so i'll just put a screenshot of all the responses that i got and the weirdest thing also is that some of you are in Canada, so maybe in Toronto. So honestly, I don't really know what to tell you because I've asked my essay several times that in Vancouver, um, it's usually considered a quota bag. So I said, what do you mean by usually? There was maybe a period of time that it wasn't and then now it's back. And so I'm like, well, 
that sucks because from what I know and from also your responses, there have been people that were able to get this bag without um, like a full pre-spend and then resetting their pre-spend history for the next bag. In my case, I've had to spend one-to-one -one, and unfortunately my spend has been reset. I guess it was just not meant to be for me to try to get this bag elsewhere. And I also don't know when I will end up traveling again because even if you travel, it's not guaranteed that you would get offered what you want. And that's the reason why I gave up and I decided that, you know what, I'll just do the pre-spend and then get this bag here. It kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Now, why did I choose gold on gold again? Um, I actually didn't exactly ask for this color. I just asked for any neutrals. I was hoping for a gray color just because I still don't have any gray leather from Hermes. But it just so happened that when they got a new shipment, the um, I had the choice between this in Epsom. I also had the choice of gold on silver, but in Swift leather. But they only had gold when the stock came in and I had already done my pre-spend and just waiting for the bag offer. So yeah, that's why I ended up with gold, but it's fine because I, I actually really like gold on gold, especially on this bag. I feel, I feel like gold on gold is such a casual, but also um, neutral color for this bag style. I really, really, really like it. Now, if you ask me why I was so fixated on getting a Constance bag next, because I could have just as easily worked on another Birkin or Kelly, since those are more worth it. But I also keep hearing everyone saying that I need a Constance because it's one of their most used bags and it's uh, very travel friendly and just really easy. And also why I got a Constance to go while I was waiting for this bag. So it sort of was always in my wish to get this bag eventually. It is also kind of a bad timing because the secondhand market or the pre-love market or the consignment market currently is selling the Constance with a very, very reasonable premium, which is a lot less than it typically was in the past. Um, but it just so happened that I had already decided to get it. I told my essay, yeah, let's do, let's work on the constants. At the end of the day, I'm not regretting my decision. It's just that it is a bit unfortunate that timing wise, I could have just maybe tried to find one in the pre-love market. But at the same time, I do like to support my local economy, my own store. I guess that way it just establishes me as more, even more of a long-term client. Uh, I am also interested in an SO, which I don't know when and how I would ever get one. <laughs> Hopefully one day, who knows, right? And that's an experience you can only get in store. Regardless, I am very, very happy to share my birthday unboxing with you guys. Let me know what you think of the Constance bag. I know a lot of you own it. I'm just so late to join the club. I do have a big trip coming up just planned it and I really want to be able to use this bag. I hear that it is a awesome crossbody and just travel bag generally speaking so I'm really looking forward to that. Anyway, let me know how you guys feel about the Constance, those of you who own it. I want to know everything and yeah, whether you guys left the stickers on a little bit longer because I kind of peeled mine off so early on my to-go that I wish that I waited a little longer. And last but not least, can I ask you guys for a favor? The majority of you that watches my unboxing videos are not subscribed so if you guys could just hit that subscribe button that would be really really lovely <laughs> um but yeah otherwise i hope you guys have a great weekend and i'll talk to you guys again very soon bye